in this demo, I will use my local Docker desktops, Kubernetes environment. However, all the things I demonstrate here can also work with any Kubernetes cluster, like Azure Kubernetes Service, for example. It doesn't matter. I have already deployed the solution to Kubernetes before the demo. It's already running in my browser, as you see. Okay. We can also see all objects running in the kubectl. You see the pods, services, deployments, replica sets and more uh, are already running in Kubernetes. Now I am opening the ABP Studio Solution Runner and opening the solution. You see that none of the applications seem to be running. This is normal because they are running inside the Kubernetes cluster and there is no connection between ABP Studio and the Kubernetes cluster yet. We will return here again. Let's open the Kubernetes tab on the left side. When I open the Kubernetes tab, I can see the Kubernetes section on the left side. Here I can manage Kubernetes profiles. A profile contains settings to connect the Kubernetes cluster. Let's edit the current profile. You see that Kubernetes cluster is Docker desktop and the namespace is MyCRM. I can close it. Okay, now I can click the small connect button here to establish the VPN tunnel between my local computer and the Kubernetes cluster. It's done. You can see the list of all services here. Let's return to the solution runner. As you see, all the applications now seem running and linked to ABP Studio. That means we are collecting their internal data. Let's visit some page to see if it's working. I will create a new product and place a new order. Now placing a new order. Okay. Okay, it seems all working. Returning to the ABP Studio, we can now see all the HTTP requests, exceptions or logs as you expect. This is very usable to track requests done in the Kubernetes cluster and understand the problems. Let's try another thing and uh, try to connect the SQL Server inside the Kubernetes cluster. I'm using the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio to connect the SQL Server inside the Kubernetes cluster. Okay, it's connected. We can see all the databases of the microservices. Remember that the SQL Server is working inside Kubernetes and it is not exposed to outside. So if we didn't use the ABP Studio VPN connection, it was not possible to connect it. Now let's see this service interception part. I will intercept the product service in Kubernetes to write, redirect traffic to my local computer. I am opening the ABP Studio in the Kubernetes tab, right clicking the product service and selecting the enable interception command. Okay, it's done. You, you see the small green icon near to the product service indicating that the interception is already active. Let's open the web UI and try to visit the product page. Okay, it's trying to get products from the microservice. You see that we got an error. This is because that page consumes the product microservice and the traffic coming to the product microservice 
is redirected to our local machine. However, the product microservice is not currently running on our machine. To fix it, I will open Visual Studio and run the product microservice on my own machine. I specifically run it in debug mode since I will add a breakpoint to demonstrate it is working. Ok, it's running. I am returning to the browser and refreshing the page. Great, it's working again. But are we sure that our local service is executed? Let's add a breakpoint to the product service that is used to get the list. Refreshing the product page again. And yes, our breakpoint is hit. Let's try another thing. I will continue. Let's try another thing. I will add a breakpoint to the event handler that is triggered when an order is placed. Now I will create a new order on the web application. The web application will use the ordering service to create the order. The order microservice will publish an event to RabbitMQ and RabbitMQ will deliver the event to the product microservice which is running on my machine because we intercepted the product microservice in Kubernetes. Let's do it. Great, my event handler is triggered. I can easily debug it. See the product details okay, and everything. Let's make a small development. I will change the product deleting code to not allow me to delete products with stock count more than zero. First, I am stopping the product service in Visual Studio, changing the product service. Yeah, here. Okay, I'm changing the code. I'm getting the product from repository. Checking if stop count is greater than zero, throwing an exception in that case, otherwise I'm deleting the product. Okay, I can run the application. This time I won't I will not run in debug mode since I don't need it in this way. Uh, it's faster. Okay, it's running. I'm going to the product page and trying to delete a product. Now we are getting an error when we try to delete a product. You see that such Microsoft service development is very easy and comfortable with the AVP Studio. Now I will disable the interception in AVP Studio. Okay, it, I disabled it. What happens now? You guessed it. The product service in Kubernetes will be used just as before. To prove it, Let's try to delete the same product again. You will see that we won't get any exception this time. It's deleted because the product microservice in Kubernetes is being used now and it doesn't prevent product deletion with stock. Finally, I can disconnect from the Kubernetes cluster if I want. In this way, AVP Studio will roll back all the chains it has done in Kubernetes cluster and in my local machine.